This is a show tutorial on how to use media files in Show Controller. There is the option to use uh, different types of video files, pictures, and whatever in Show Controller, and they can be put on the timeline uh, to be played back on a video projector, a screen, or whatever type of media playback system. So, first of all, before we get started, we've got the, the blank project, but we open this media library with the media library also opens the video window as you can see i already have a video in the media library but i now want to add an additional media file which i add this way i just put the explanation of the shonet admin tool and uh, now the media is imp imported to the media library. This can take some seconds. After the video has been processed, it's available in the media library. Um, it's important to have the media all imported to the media library first before you use them because it synchronizes the way these are implemented to the timeline to avoid any shifts between audio and video and also laser in the end. So by having the media imported to the media library, they're on the same level, on the same frame rate, on the same uh, media parameters so they can be used. Let's import the media event to the timeline. I double click. I select media event and I double click again and select the corresponding file. In my case I take the product video of the RTN Neo 6 because it's more colorful and more fancy than the other one. Just open this one. Okay and you can see this is the video. You can set the start and the end point. So like this and hit OK. And the video gets imported to the timeline. If we now play it back, you can even move this to full screen and also use it on a different monitor, of course. You can move it around and scale it to the size you need it. 